My name is Kathy. I am here with Miss Marlene from Marley's Makeup. Yeah. We have a special event tonight, so Marlene's going to be doing my makeup for me. Um, I'm 55 and got a little bit of sun, so she's going to fix that for me. Yeah. Um, I have two boys, twins, who are 24, so it's so nice to have girls around the house, especially one that can do my makeup for me. So, hi Casey, I miss you, I love you. Anyway, so I hope you watch this video and you can see what 55 can do, um, what she could do with my makeup, and when you have gotten a little too much sun and you're kind of red, I know she could do magic. So I hope you enjoy it, thank you. <laughs> um, she has dry skin, dry skin, and so you always wanna use something that's gonna help it so of course you're gonna have to really moisturize and um, put like illuminating um, powder, uh, primer so actually she already primed and she also gets the ipsy bags too and she used the let's see the MAC Prick Plus Prime Natural Radiance and this is um, and it's in a illuminating base. So I actually want to put a pore primer because she does have pores like me, large pores. So I'm using the baby skin from Maybelline. This is my mother-in-law, of course, it's Noah's mom. She, um, she has twin boys, like she said. So I'm just wondering how was life with twin boys when they were younger? Oh my gosh, it was never ending. One would go one way, one would go the other way. Um, they were close when they were little. Noah actually taught Benjamin how to walk. Mm -hmm. um, but it was, it was constant. I never had a shower, I never got to eat. Um, it was a constant, and it's still that way. No, kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Oh my God. Um, so, like, was it difficult? Did you have, like, really hard times since you had two babies at the same time? Well, when you have two babies um, and you don't have a single birth, first or last, you don't know the difference. So, um, I didn't know the difference. All yeah. I knew was how to take care of two babies. Yeah. So I had no idea what I it was can't. like just to have one. Yeah, I can't even imagine having two kids. I learned to adjust. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so, they were so flipping cute. Yeah, I've seen so many pictures. Um, and I'm sure I put it like on Snapchat or on social media. There's one over there. Okay. Um, we'll, show, we'll show a picture of them in a little bit. Yeah. How cute they were. I'm using this. Uh, another product she got in her MC bag is the Trick and Treat CC Cream from Hey Honey. So I'm going to put that um, before I put foundation. So that way it can cover up her redness. So... Whenever you had the twins, did you have to have a C-section? I did have a C-section. Yeah. Um, they were five weeks early. Um, they were preemies. They were uh, tiny. Um, Noah was 4'10 and Benjamin weighed 5'3. Wow. They were in the um, intensive care for 10 days. It was hard. It was hard leaving them at the hospital. Yeah, I can't imagine. Yeah, and they were so, 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 so tiny. But, God, if you look at them now, you'd never know. They're big boys. Yes. Yeah. Really. Um, so Noah came out first? Noah came out first. Oh, that was awful. The first time I ever admitted that. Because now Noah thinks he's the big brother. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh they were goodness. one minute apart. Oh. So Noah's only a minute. So, but he thinks he has leverage. Yeah. So how many days did they stay at the hospital? Ten days. Ten. Yeah. I can't even imagine going home without my baby. It was hard. I don't I know would, how you did it. Yeah, I would stay at the hospital all day long. 
Oh, they let you stay all day? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So how was it when you first took them home? When we brought them home, it was crazy. Like, I had no idea how to even give them a bath. And I was so scared because they were so tiny. Imagine a, f a bag of, five pound bag of sugar. Like, that's what they weighed. Really? Was, oh my God, they were so, so tiny. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah. But we adjusted, you know, we took them everywhere we went. They were on heart monitors. Um, mm -hmm. We had to give them, they had apnea. So we had to give them. Um, What's apnea? Apnea is when they kind of stop breathing a little bit when they're sleeping. So, oh. yeah. And wow. they were on pure caffeine. We had to give it to them in their mouths and it was sour. And they, make horrible faces and <laughs> Seriously? oh my god it was a lot Aww. yeah and you forget though it's such a blur because you're just so happy to be a mom yeah but yeah That's it's hard true. and now i look at how healthy they are now and i feel so blessed yeah so they are 24 now 24 i 24. made it i did it sure. now it's mom time yeah um, so we'll learn how to do like this like stuff first. Was it both of them at the same time or just like, um, how to walk? Oh, how well, to talk. Well, Noah was always the leader of the two and Benjamin would just follow Benjamin. Benjamin was <laughs> he was such a happy, happy baby. Really? And Noah was just intense because he was such a thinker. Uh -huh. Like he was just he thought about everything intensely mm -hmm. and benjamin was just happy go lucky just you know <laughs> yeah give me things to play with and i'm content yeah and whereas noah just everything had to be a challenge wow everything was a challenge because he would like even in school he would read every book and the teacher ran out of books for him to read i mean he just no yeah, he wow. did everything with such intense. Yeah. yeah. But he was such a thinker. Mm -hmm. So I guess like Benjamin looked up to Noah a lot. When they were younger, yeah. Yes. But then, you know, it becomes a challenge because uh, once Benjamin um, got his independence, you know, they struggled because, you know, Noah was so used to being the leader and Benjamin broke away from it. And yeah. So, yeah, they fought all the time. Do you think it's hard for him, for them to be apart? Or do you think it's better for them to be apart? Um, I don't like them to be apart. Yeah. But I think it's good for them to be apart mm -hmm. because they're gonna build a strong brother bond. Yeah, that's true. It's gonna be. Because then at the end of the day, they come together. Exactly. Because they haven't seen each other in a long time, so they have fun. Yes. Um, so Kathy wants a natural look. So when I think about natural looks, I think about like light pinks and stuff like that. So I just used, uh, I just primed her, her eyes for the base. And I'm gonna be using the Soft Glam Palette. Sorry, it's dirty. They get dirty really easily. So, um, so like, what do you like to do? What's some stuff you really enjoy doing? Gardening. Gardening. My yard is finally getting to where it needs to be. It's, the, the winters here are brutal, but the summers here are amazing. It's like the perfect 73 degrees outside. Not too hot, not cold. It's perfect. Yeah. And yeah, we've been, we've been outside. <laughs> yes. Especially her, she's really, really into that. Um, I just don't like the snakes. Yeah, supposedly guess, there's snakes outside. I've never seen them, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not looking forward to it. Connor saw them. Yeah, he wasn't scared, huh? My little pumpkin. Yeah, um, Connor uh, actually calls her Nona, and they really have like a great relationship, and I'm glad. I love him. He's my little munchkin. So tell them about your dancing and stuff well I used to dance competitively it was a lot of fun and uh, 
I'd like to get back into it. Mm -hmm. um, dancing is wonderful if you can find a community place to go to or any place where you can take dance lessons. Um, you know, if you're dealing with stress or you have just, you need some me time, um, do it. It really, really makes you feel good. Yeah. And it's just so much fun. Even if you can't dance, go for it. Mm -hmm. Like me, I can't dance. It's so fun. <laughs> so, would you want to do it again? Yes. Yeah. Actually, I found a place for you and I to go to. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I've been wanting it's like a little to... community thing, and they have dance lessons, and so I yeah. think it'll be fun. It'll be fun for us to do that together. I've been wanting to learn how to dance, yeah. and actually, the twins know how to dance too. Yeah, Tell them the about twins that. know how to dance. They both dance competitively. I think since they were like nine years old. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. They so know how to dance we're... the what is it? Oh, cha cha, waltz, polka. Mm -hmm. Uh, what else is there? Um, two step, um, East Coast swing, West Coast swing. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen her dance. She still got it. <laughs> <laughs> still got it. Shake my groove thing. Yes. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. I I still I still dance even though I don't know how to. It's fun. But that's like something that I've been wanting to do too because when I was younger I used to like just let it out and oh, dance yeah. everywhere. Makes cleaning the kitchen a lot more fun. Yes. Throw and on some good music, some my favorite Bruno Mars uh -huh. uh, and just just jiggle all over the place. Yes. <laughs> jiggle and wiggle and have a good time. Mm -hmm. So after we do this I'm going to do my hair and she's gonna come back and, and we'll show. come back and we'll do the final showing yes can you look over here i can okay um i've done her makeup before because she's asked me but we finally had the chance to film it and i love having my makeup done by marlene <laughs> she's very good i try i try so watch the video yes please <laughs> That's really pretty. Subscribe. Um, so she got this pretty shade from the Ipsy bag too. And it's from Naked Cosmetics. And I think this is a pigment and it's called Naturally Naturally Nude. So are you going on a date or is it like we're going out? out with friends into Rochester, New York for dinner. We haven't been out in a very long time, so I'm very excited. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe dancing. Yeah. I'm you should. Sure. That would be fun. So for the pigment, I'm using the NYX pigment glue. So if y'all were wondering, um, what is that for? For the pigment. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, if y'all were wondering if we, like, if we got along and stuff, like the first time we met, we did very <laughs> well. Oh, oh, I need like a D. Oh. All right. So Marlene asked me what one of Noah's fears are. Uh huh. And his one of his big fears is bees. Really? Yeah, when he was little, um, I had gone to the grocery store and I came back and his dad had him in the truck and he was swollen from head to toe and he said, oh. Mama, I'm all swallowed. Oh and God. he got stung by a bee and that's how we found out that he is allergic to bees. And if you've ever had a child that is allergic to anything and you've had to take them into the hospital and you've had to, they stick you in a small room and then they give your child a shot of epinephrine. Oh my gosh. What? He was epinephrine. He was bouncing off the walls. Seriously? He was into everything. He was jumping all over the place. Oh yeah, it gives them like such a boost of energy. It's crazy. Oh what? my, I was losing it. And you're in this small little room. Like I'd never seen this child so full of energy. Yeah. It was nuts. 
Oh my god. Yeah. So, um, tell them about when Noah broke his ankle. So, Noah was 16, 17. It was in the summer. And he was visiting his grandmother in Texas. And I get a phone call. I get a phone call from his grandmother that she's got him in the car and she's on her way to the ER with him. He was at an indoor trampoline and he was showing off and he jumped off the trampoline <laughs> and hit the ground and both his ankles went like that. Oh and he God. didn't want to go to the hospital um, because he didn't want to get a shot. <laughs> so, oh my God. long story short, he broke both ankles. Um, he had to fly home with his brother who had to cart him all over the place. Mm -hmm. Um, they had to fly home. They could not put casts on him because you can't fly with cast. Oh, really? Because mm -mm, the swelling. Um. So we got him home and I took him to a surgeon that I knew and he ended up, he had to have surgery on the right one. Mm -hmm. He had eight casts between the two and he had no feet for six, over six weeks. Oh my God. So we had to crawl on the floor to do everything. It yeah. was awful. It was the worst. Time. That must have sucked for him. He was in so much pain. I, yeah. Oh my God. It was. It's hard to even think about how much pain this poor kid was in. Mm -hmm. It was unbelievable. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I feel bad for any parent that has to go through a child that breaks. Yeah. You know. I have. Oh my yeah. gosh. But this, he did. They, they didn't cast one of them. No, they did. Actually, he had casts. Eventually, had when cast they were done. Oh no, no, he had cast a cast yeah. on both his both on his, his legs. legs. Yeah, yeah, it was awful. Trying to, we lived on the second floor, so trying to get him down the stairs just to go take him somewhere, just so he could like get out, mm -hmm. go to the movies. Just it was just oh my god, he had to bounce down on his butt. Oh my god. Yeah. So y'all had to like help him for everything. Huh? Everything. We had to take his bed off of his frame mm -hmm. and put it on the floor so he could just crawl into it. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. It was How old awful. was he? he? I think he was 16, 17. And thank God it was the summer. Yeah. Yep. He was miserable. I felt so bad. I felt so bad for him. Yeah, and now he has this big scar on his foot. Yeah, but we got through it, you know, mm -hmm. as a family. We got through it. Like, you never know what's going to happen. No. And you just, you know, kids get hurt. You want to brush them off and tell them it's all good. But then there's those circumstances like what this happened, and you just feel like you can't fix it. Mm -hmm. So all you can do is just be a good mom and you know, or be the best mom that you can be. And yeah. and just, you know, sympathize and take care of them. Mm -hmm. Like when, when um, I'm using this, this foundation, it's called Bodyography and you got it where? At my salon. She got it at her salon. Has it been good? You yes. like it so far? Yeah, I do like it. I'm just gonna put that. It's not thick. It's yeah. got like a nice, just feels good. Kathy and I are like, well, I consider her to be my best friend because I literally don't know anybody from from here yet. Um, and I but, love having her here. Yeah, she's like she's like a mom to me because I don't have my mom here, and I feel like I can talk to her. And um, I'm trying to teach her how to cook. Yeah, st stuff. And she like. I know some. Mexican. I know some. She's doing good. But Kathy's, of course, is but better. She made these brownies. Oh my god. 
And don't they were from a box. Don't tell them about my brownies. <laughs> oh my God, they were so bad. <laughs> Hey, that's why you keep on going, huh? That's why. Then the, the next batch she made were really good. Yeah. But so. And we <laughs> laughed and we laughed. <laughs> Bots oh. brownies. Yeah. I mean, like, how can you even funny. mess that up? I don't get it. It was funny. Uh, but I guess I did. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, it was pretty funny. But. So like we come and we hang out and we talk about stuff. She gives me great advice. Um, and she brought me a grandbaby. Yeah. And I'm eternally grateful for that because I love that little munchkin. Alexandra loves her. Right, he buddy? Loves you. It's Honor. He's not paying attention to me. Right, you love Nona? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love you too, bud. Nona spoils him. Today we got him some soccer shoes. Mm-hmm. He had his first game the other day. I missed it. I'm so mad. I thought <laughs> he just had practice. I didn't know it was his first game. Yeah, it was. But it's okay. There's plenty of more coming. Yeah, but I don't want to miss anything. Yeah, that's true. So, yes, I'm ready for more babies. Yes, yeah, she's not going to lie. She wants me to have a baby. And I want a baby. <laughs> we need little but, girls. Yeah, hopefully it's a girl. Next, all girls. I'm really hoping it so is. So we can dress her up and all kinds of frilly stuff so she can rebel when she's four or five to wear baggy clothes. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. But Noah isn't ready, so he keeps saying no. He will be. He'll be yeah. a good dad. Um, I mean, like, now he's learning from Alexander a lot. Yes. So. That'll be a piece of cake. He's, he's like, really great with him. He is very good. I'm very proud of him. So I'm just gonna powder her up. Key. I'm jealous because my dog likes her more than me. Oh no, no. My baby girl. Yeah, Mika. <laughs> she we she really, really, really loves me, but yeah, she, she really, has a really great connection you. with you. Like y'all had her since oh, yeah. she was a baby. Like she gets so excited when you're here. She wants to rip up. I'm gonna go do my hair and then we will show you the finished product. Yes. The finished look. <laughs> So we're done with the face. Well, not for, for right now. We're gonna go in back into the palette and do the bottom lash line. I'm just gonna take this color right here. I love this color. It's called Dusty Rose. I wish I could take her everywhere with me <laughs> to do my makeup. It's so much fun to have somebody else do your makeup for you. Mm hmm Plus, I can't see. I feel like when Noah was doing my makeup, I just <laughs> wanted to yeah. get him off. Yeah, yeah. But a little bit of eyeliner. And eyeliner. This copper one from Pixie. Nice. So we're using some mascara and I'm obsessed with this already. It's the Bang from Benefit. Okay. Uh, close them all the way. No, they're good. And my lashes are so thin. Yeah. So I usually do like a couple coats. So after she does this one, then I'll let it sit for a second. And then I go in and do another one and that really helps. Okay. If you have like lashes that aren't super long. Yeah. Yeah. 
because a lot of the ones that you buy in the store, not that there's anything wrong with them, but a lot of people don't know that they mm -hmm. have a lot of tar in them. Oh, they do? Yes. Wow. Yeah. And that's what, because it hardens up so much, that's what rips your eyelashes out. Yeah. You want to so, be careful with the eyelash curler, curler too. <laughs> yeah. So it's always good to buy a good mascara. Uh-huh. If you're going to invest in money, do it with a mascara. Okay. All right. So we're just going to move on and she's going to do another layer in a minute. I'm going to go in with some bronzer. Can you like this? You always want to look tan, especially in the summer and glowy. Right. Yeah, I want I want to look glowy. Mm-hmm. Tom wants to go camping so bad. Oh, we have to take him back camping. So next up, I'm going in with the highlight. I'm gonna spray some of the spray. And we're using this Ibby <laughs> from the Ipsy bag. And it's the Radiant Glow Highlighter. See? And if you've never heard of the Ipsy bag, it's awesome. I get it. We get it every month. And it's just got, it's just packed full of really fun stuff. Yeah. It's 10 bucks a month and you get like a lot of really nice products like Mac. And here's one. This is uh, Hikari. It's a real pretty, pretty color. Eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Eyeshadow. Um, you just get a lot of fun stuff and it's fun to get the bag yeah. every month. And the great thing about it is that they ask you what's your favorite type of like makeup and what are your skin problems. Yeah. So they, that way when they send you things, they send you things that are going to help. And it's that fun just be getting, you. getting that new little pink, pink, bright pink package every month. Yes. And you can um, collect the little bags that come each month. So it's a bag each month. And I think that's pretty cool. So she went ahead and put some more mascara and I'm using blush. This is the Tarte. I love um, look good. Amazonian clay and the shade Porky. Porky. So I think for lipstick, I'm actually going to go in with a nude, but I'm going to go in with lip liner first. Should I scrub my lips? Yes. This is like... So she's using the, the Laura Liquid Lipstick Scrub. This stuff is awesome. Yes. Plus it's edible and it's so good. <laughs> Literally can just eat it like candy. try this stuff mm -hmm. it's worth it and look how much you get yeah that's literally big and you only need like like a couple little granules and that's mm -hmm. it so it'll yeah. last you for a long time okay and it does, does it does taste really good <laughs> 
Do you want to put chapstick on? Okay. So now I need to just get the granules off. Make sure you put chapstick after scrubbing. Chapstick. Going in with the liner. This is El Mesco, you know, my favorite one. Okay. So going in with the Anastasia. This is the shade Honey. It's a matte lipstick. Oh, nice. The Make It Last from Milani. Set it one more time. Sorry. And that's the makeup. All right, so BRB. See you back. All right, so she did her hair, and we ended up putting some eyelashes on. So that's the final look. She's gonna go get changed because she's about to leave. So I Bye hope everybody. you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see Bye you in now. my next one. Subscribe. Subscribe. See you later.